Hey everyone, so I'm doing take two for the book reading Prosperity Consciousness again. If you are watching the replay, type in hashtag replay in the comments below. Receiving the Greatness of You, page number 32. Becoming aware of what we, are, what we were unwilling to receive about ourselves was a new frontier for Steve and me. Gary said to us, the main thing you are unwilling to receive is the greatness of you. If you are willing to receive the uniqueness and the greatness of you and willing to allow the world and everyone to see the uniqueness and greatness of you, the world will then give to you what you truly deserve. Okay, so hey Abir, hey Leslie, good to have you guys live. So are you willing to receive the uniqueness and greatness of you? And are you willing for everyone in the world to see the uniqueness and greatness of you. If you are willing, type in uniqueness and greatness in the comments below. I asked him, what would it take for that to happen? Gary answered, honey, you have to have a willingness to perceive and receive yourself differently. This is the beginning of creating what you truly desire in your life. That's the place where you have to begin. So are you willing to perceive and receive yourself different? If you are, type in different in the comments below. Hey Anju, as I thought about it, I got insight into how I was unwilling to receive the uniqueness and greatness of me. Not only was I unwilling to receive my greatness, I was actually rejecting, negating and denying my uniqueness. I didn't, I didn't want to be different or stand out from the crowd. I was doing everything possible to hide my power. I assumed it was virtuous to be modest, humble and understated. I thought that the only other alternative was to be obnoxious and full of myself. So how many of you are in this place where you don't want to stand out, where you don't want to be the tall poppy in the crowd? And are you willing to let it go now, please? Yeah, I had misidentified and misapplied the notion of humility and modesty. I had been taught during my early years to avoid being conceited, boastful and self-serving. I was conditioned to turn away from self-acknowledgement and avoid talking about my achievements. I thought it was a good thing to be unassuming and modest about my talents and abilities. After I talked with Gary, I began to ask myself this question. What am I unwilling to receive about the greatness of me? So this is a question I'd like you to play with. What are you unwilling to receive about the greatness of you? Like do a pen and paper exercise, like carry this question with you throughout the day. Read it continuously. You can do what I do sometimes. I program it into my phone to send me these reminders at different times in the day. So what am I unwilling to receive about the greatness of me and I'd love to know what shows up for you. If you have any questions, type them in the comments below. If you think that these uh, book readings have been contributing to you, please invite your friends to join the group so that they can also join us. And thank you so much for listening to me and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.